don't stop. Welcome to Grace and Lottie's channel. This week I've been busy costuming, but I've been out at some art supply stores as I've been doing that. And I've gotten a couple of things for myself personally, and so I wanted to share those with you. Um, I've been at Hobby Lobby a whole bunch because that's the closest place to me to get fabric. But while I was there, I went through their clearance bin. And so most of these items that I'm gonna be showing you, I got on sale. So this is my kind of my steals and deals video right here. So the first thing I found that I'm going to show you, and this one wasn't on sale, but I used my 40% off coupon, so I got it, was this fun little uh, circle maker. So when I am drawing in my sketchbook, it'll be a little easier to just go ahead and do it straight with pen, and I can play around. I've seen these in several videos, and I thought, oh, those are really cool. I want to get one. And then when I saw that it was all of $4.29 regularly, and then with a 40% off coupon, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and get that one. Another thing I picked up, and I've had these before. But um, in all the traveling I've had to do, I accidentally lost my set and I have no idea where they are. I lost the whole little case that they were in. So I had to pick up another one, again, use my coupon on this one. So I paid 40% off of whatever that is. Um, like, so let's see, 10, 40% off, that'd be like six bucks. So, um, nope, those are fun. I love these, these are what I use in my sketchbooks. They are Millennium, they're uh, the Zig memory system, whatever. Mainly I picked them up the first time because they were a set that came with a bunch of different sizes and the price was good. And uh, seeing as I am not professional yet, I thought that a better price point would be good for starting now and maybe move up to nicer ones as I get better, that type of thing. But I've liked these, they've worked great for me. So um, I bought them again. Now going through their clearance bin, I found some fun little postcards. And the first one I'm going to show is I found this one in India. And I think it's kind of funny that I picked up one that is India Designs because right now, uh, one of my videos is going really big in India right now. So shout out to India, all billion or so of you guys over there. Thank you, India. Hope you're enjoying that. Uh, but these are, I've done the bigger book of these, uh, but these are just little versions so you could take them with you. They'll fit in my little watercolor thing so I can work on it there and just little ones that you can do quickly and enjoy. So just different designs. Now you can notice they were originally $10.99. I got them for $3.95. So I picked up this one, Op Art, some fun modern kind of designs to do here and the Art Nouveau one as well. I like I picked up all of them. I was like, these can keep me busy when I'm traveling or out and about or just have a few minutes to kind of work on something and don't have time to invest. So those are fun. Now, the last thing I've gotten, I've saved to last and I'm probably gonna need some help here to show you. And it's one of the reasons this video has had such cruddy lighting in case you <laughs> wondered because um, I'm not using any of my lights on this is because I found a new light. <laughs> and I'm really excited about this. Um, it was originally, see that, $215. Got this at the Preston Arts Store this week. They are having a big sidewalk sale this weekend. Um, and you can see I got it for $75. I was really excited. The um, staff there were the ones who were really pointing us out, showing this is the deal of the day here. And they still had a couple when I was there, so if you can make it out tomorrow, because by the time this video goes up, and you're local, I would recommend going and checking out this light because it is really, really cool. Um, let's see, up here is the thing. Let's get this, try to open it. It's got a little tab here. I'm gonna pull it open. Sorry, this is really out of focus. There we go. Open it up. Now, I got white. Most everything in my studio that I use is white, so they also had a black, but. Um, it's really cool too. I'm gonna show you this, this little uh, remote because I'm really, really bad with remotes. Magnets right there on it so you don't lose it, which I thought was really cool. I saw that in the store. I was like, I am really, really bad at losing my remotes. But it's a clamp on light. And since the way my desk here is set up, it's actually just a butcher black table. Um, it'll clamp right to that. And this arm spins all kinds of crazy directions. So I can adjust this as I need to, to make my light uh, work as I'm uh, around here. 
Um, I've got, this is the cord right here. And uh, this, when you're using it, it has a bunch of different settings. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna set this up and we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you those different light settings on this and why I thought this was super, super, super. Okay, we've got the light set up. So first I wanted to show you what my old setup was like. I have a lamp here that the shade broke off of so I can tilt it and it would kind of shoot light where I was working, used a reveal bulb in it, so it was as true to light as I could get right here. And I'll show you kind of what that looks like right here with these, so that is it, and it's worked really well. It was a free thing that I had already had here at home, so I was just able to kind of repurpose something, but now I have my new Stella light, so I'm getting ready to show you it now on this. I'm gonna get it in place and angle it. Now, it has this nice little remote right here, so I can sit here and I can turn that on so you can see that. It's got a warm and a cool setting, so there's the cool, there's the warm, so I can adjust that lighting. Uh, working in a studio that has a lot of natural light, which I love my natural light, that gives me a little more control in here right now without going to full-on studio lights. Um, that'll be uh, for filming. Uh, that would take up a lot of space in here because considering I have to work, I have to be kind of mindful of being able to move around in this space. Uh, has some different uh, settings right here. So you can see that I can, it's five-way demo, dimmable. Try saying that five times fast. Um, so I can, for what I am working on, adjust that for what I need, which I think is really cool too. And it does it in both modes. So yeah, there's my new light, woohoo! Getting fancy in here. So my beautiful Stella light, which has a great little uh, profile in here. It's pretty small, doesn't take up a lot of space, and I can move it around as I need to pretty easily. And it's clamped to the desk, so I won't accidentally knock it off, let's hope, as I'm walking by too. <laughs> the other one may have bitten the dust in here a couple of times, unfortunately did not break. But, uh, so, uh, thank you for like, sharing, and subscribing. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I am at Grace and Lotties. I'm going to be posting some pictures later today um, from the theater where my kids are going to be performing. I did the costumes for their play, so I've got a bunch of stuff from there that I'm going to be putting up, uh, as well as uh, just some other things that I'm doing on a general basis. I post pictures there. I try to rather frequently. And as always, remember that art happens in everyday life. Make sure you're watching for it. Bye. Don't stop.